We're checking in on air traffic this morning out in Katy. Nice day for a hot air balloon. We'll tell you what the freeways are doing, though, when we get back from the break. So stay with us. Elementary to help promote not only the Remax Hot Air Balloon and how hot air rises, but also Disney's upcoming movie, Up. And Radio Disney contacted Remax and said, we have a balloon movie coming up and you do hot air balloons. We need to get together and get the word out to the children. As well as Radio Disney will be at the Ballooner Liftoff Festival in October to help us celebrate the enjoyment of being with the hot air balloons. What we enjoy doing with the Remax Hot Air Balloon is bringing the balloon out to elementary schools to teach kids about two aspects. About hot air balloons, which is a vehicle, first, actually man's first form of flight, which is a vehicle that most kids never have the experience to see up close, as well as an opportunity to learn about thermodynamics and how hot air rises, about how air molecules get excited and expand and lift, and how the air rises into the balloon and lifts everything with it. These right here are my air molecules. Air has air molecules in it, and most of the time air molecules are really close together, kind of like these air molecules are. They're all snug together, they're just hanging out, minding their own business, not doing anything, and then somebody comes along and adds heat. And that's exactly what happens to air molecules. They get excited, and they start to run away, and they spread out, and when they do that, they get real light, and they start to rise. Let's hear from my air molecules. Thank you. He showed us how um, he showed us how the fire comes out and goes up, and how it goes up, and he made it fall over into the red platform. I think it is really cool that Remax could come to Klein just to show us. Well, Remax has a special love for children, and for several reasons, we want to make sure their parents find the perfect house and the perfect schools for their education, as well as helping children to grow up to be the leaders of our country tomorrow, and being able to work with different children not only from the elementary school purpose but different events that we put on it actually teaches children how hot air rises how balloons were invented a little bit about the balloons so that when they see them hopefully they'll remember a little bit about the Remax as well as just the history and lessons behind that two things. We're here to teach you about hot air balloons and we're also here to teach you about thermodynamics and what makes the balloon rise. So periodically I'm going to say stand by and then I'm going to put some heat in the balloon but before I do give me a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Well the Remax hot air balloon is an aircraft. It's governed by the FAA just like any airplane or helicopter is, and I have to be a licensed pilot in order to fly it. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask a question for you. How do I steer a balloon? Well, you can't steer a balloon. If you were to take a helium balloon and you just let it go and start fly in the sky, that's how we float. We only float with the direction of the wind. We can't control left or right. We can only control whether we go up or down. So what we do with a balloon, though, 
that the, the wind currents are actually, do actually vary at different altitudes. So we can climb and find some, usually a right-hand turn as we climb, and as we descend, we can usually find a little bit of a left-hand turn. So the only directional control we have is by utilizing the wind currents at different altitudes. What happens if I get caught, caught in the storm? Well, that goes back to the pre-flight planning. I have to check the weather before we go out and fly. And we don't like to fly when the weather is bad. We like cool temperatures, we like light winds, which are predominantly found early in the morning. Since balloons float with the wind, we have to judge how fast the winds are going because we only have about two hours worth of fuel on board. That the balloons lift is based on the temperature difference between the outside air and the internal air in the balloon. So on a colder day, when the air is colder outside, we don't need as much hot air in the balloon to produce the same amount of lift. But on a hot day, like in July, we're going to need a lot more hot air to produce the same amount of lift. Yeah, on count of three. One, two, three. Woo!